Okay. Yeah, I'm back. Um, I don't know what happened the last time, but I think I was. Um, yeah, I said I was saying. Um, you know, you, you. I was wondering where the the fathers of these children are if they have to stay with friends, and um, you know, um, and I was wondering about the allowance that um, she received. Well, I was about to say receives. I guess every that she received. So, um, you get to wondering about these things, but it still comes down to the fact that inherently it's none of our business anyway. You know, because really, I'm sure that uh, I, I can't. I can't speak in absolutes, of course. I'm sure that there are some of us who. Um, have um, a family member or might be going through uh, one side of the one side of the spectrum of the incident or the other. You might be in the position to be the um, the wealthy benefactor, such as um, Dr. Dre, to a relative, and it may or may not be your daughter or son, or you know, it might be your brother or sister or uncle or you know. Even be on mama daddy whatever where you know you might have a financial advantage to them and they may find themselves in dire straits and need your help and you have the option to choose to help them or not you may have had a history of helping them in the past but um you reached an impasse well shoot my old lady about to leave me and i know she's gonna try to take a chunk out of me you know, my daughter already, she, or she already violated, you know, my trust. Well, I guess, you know, she, 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 even though she said um, they haven't had a relationship in a considerable amount of years, I'm sure that, you know, even if it's just a financial relationship, if you make a contract or agreement with someone, um, you still want to uh, honor honor the, um, the stipulations of the uh, financial contract by uh, making sure that you don't go out and do something that violates uh, the good faith, the good faith of that um, contract. So her violation, evidently according to the the um, the lawyer, his lawyer's assistant or whatever, whoever he sent to her, told her that her speaking to the press is a violation um, of her of her of his trust with her and lo and behold she goes to um god i can't think of the name of this newspaper uh let me see what the name of it if i can find it uh yeah. let me see if i can reload it uh the name of this newspaper the daily mail yeah the daily mail always always um tends to come with you know, I mean, I, I got to be fair. They come with, with, with the white folks gossip, too. They come with everybody dirt. But I don't know what, what possessed her to go to this particular um, publication at this particular time. You know, the man just, it's been ruled he has to pay the, um, the ex-wife uh, 300000 a month. And that's another thing where people have in, inserted their, their layman opinion. Uh, I mean, I guess she might have had some experience with a similar situation, but not to the point of um, um, Mr. Andre Young's um, uh, uh, elevation, you know, of stature, per se. But, you know, it. we, we go to these social media uh, apparatuses and um, we come together in groups and intimately discuss well you know in some it, discuss may be a um a kind term to use we um most of the time argue and become messy and and do things such as name call and you know uh, even to the point where we uh might google uh, a person's government name this is this is one of the reasons why I could, you know, they could, Facebook call themselves protecting people by doing this, making them um, put their whole names on, on there, where 
on your profile, your legitimate, legitimate government name, which my name is on there, legitimately government, my government name is there. Um, I used to use another name. I had to take that name off and I had to show my ID to prove that I was the person that that has the name that I'm using, which is my real government name. But um, the thing about that is I, I, I don't like the fact that you have to um, put your put your real name on um, the social media, and that's just to tie to the fact that um, that people you might have these discussions online with people, and people get passionate and all in their feelings. And when you get too uh, involved in your sensitivities or your you know I hate to overuse the word emotion, emotionals, whatever you know because those are necessary, but hypersensitivity or hyper emotion hyper emotionalism is something different you know it's like they getting all all up in their feelings per se and um do drastic things like google your name and you know they might find a GoFundMe for uh you know your that your daughter may just be trying to help you out as a parent because she uh you know um you're, you, 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 she already recognizes that you work hard for it. It's not that the fact that she thinks that you may need her assistant, but she wants to play, pick, be a, a good daughter. Well, let me see if I can find alternative means to, to um, you know, fund, fund, fund up, buy, buy me a car. You know, as opposed to having to go to my mother to to buy me buy me a car. Now, this girl, this child, may, this may be a child, you know, a teenager, whatever, that's still in the mom's household, but she still has taken the responsibility to say, well, let me go and see what I can do. And even if I can't get it completely, I will at least be able to show this person that I know loves me and cares for me, and who I recognize has given to me. Um, my appreciation. So it's like, um, you know, you can look at yourself. I'm sure that either one of us could place ourselves in the, um, uh, I guess, the social, moral, uh, 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 financial uh, position of, of um, either Andre Young or his daughter, Latanya Young. Um, and be like, well, I, I, I got this money and, you know, I had to work hard for my money. I ain't never had to ask nobody to pay my rent or whatever. And you know, I got me two or three, two or three properties that I rent land out too. And here this person come, you know, they didn't had all these opportunities here in the world. I, you know, I didn't get out of myself and gave them money and took care of them. And here they are, the damn near uh, 50 years old, still trying to come to somebody and beg for some money. Now y'all know y'all done had this discussion with yourselves about this issue. But the thing about it is, is that what you, what a lot of times what some of you do, you come online and you bring your personal experiences in and you tie them in with celebrities who you'll never be, who you'll never be the same, um, well, primarily, um, even not even money-wise, evidently uh, relevant because you're reading about them to discuss them, you know, while you're trying to smear your little, your, your, your petty uh, anecdotal personal situations on to some as big as theirs. Like, you know, okay, old boy, he has to pay his wife $300,000 a year. That's cool for him. That's him. You know, that's not, that's not coming out your pocket. And that ain't got nothing to do with, you know, the little 2500 you might have had to pay your ex-wife. So it's like, okay, so now you got, you got to go, and you see here where, the, from this uh, publication, the Atlanta Black Star. And I like the, I like the Atlanta Black Star. I remember a while back, like early years ago on my other page, um, um, Real Relationships, Real Black Relationships, y'all know my page, whatever. They had sent me a, a message asking me that I want to write some stuff for them. And I and I neglected to respond because I always put things off. But yeah, you know, so you know, um, Shannon Sharp. You know, dude talk a lot. Shannon, he's Shannon Sharp. He get paid to talk. 
So what he did, he did he did a he did a, um, a tweet. He said a 38 year old grown woman trying to shame her father into taking care of responsibility. She's great. Now, this is a fair assessment. Nevertheless, Mr. Sharp, you have to be careful when you um. My, I, I, I guess I guess he's he, but is he a is he a sports commentator? I, I, I guess he he talks about social issues, but I don't know what it is, man. It just seems this internet shit is kind of you know even some of us old us old head dudes. Let me take a sip of this water here. Uh, some of us old head dudes, we didn't got to the point where we real gossipy with it, you know. I mean, I guess it's the convenience of being able to gossip from your from your hand, but sometimes, you know, I think I made a post about it the other day. Sometimes it's best to say uh, no comment or I I don't know or, I, or no comment. I choose not to discuss this at this time. You know, as a response. Uh, when people ask you ask you about stuff, because sometimes um, you, you I don't know why you feel obligated to answer. People feel obligated to answer just about any random person when they ask you a question um, about something that may be personal or so. We're, no, I'm not even something that's personal. Something that's not even your business. I mean, um, and, and to be fair, this is this man's Twitter account, but you know they the, the new the new way is uh, to take. A person's social media, or, or not even a regular per well, I guess in a regular person in some degrees, but to take a uh, a public figure, a celebrity, a athlete, or whatever, and to um, take their tweet and make it into a story, and oftentimes that has dire circumstances and plays out into their um, personal lives. You know, like you uh, due to the fact of cancellation costs culture but again that's another story we still on we still in this particular situation right here okay so so Shannon you know and now 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 I'm at the point part where I'm trying to discuss well sweeping around your front door well no talking behind doors and your and your door ain't even swept about swept out in front of because you're too busy worry about how clean somebody else's front step door is and well, yeah. So, yeah, he made this comment. It's, I hope you can see a 38-year-old woman trying to shame her father and take care of the responsibilities she created. Which is, um, you know, it wasn't just, she did create some responsibilities, which are the four children. And, you know, even though she, and, and, and she created those responsibilities with, with a male. Now, people come from, people like to use the, um, well, I ain't gonna say people, you know, a certain sex, section of, um, Males and men, you know, it's interchangeable. They say that the that the, that, the, that the woman chooses to lay down this particular man, whatever. So if she is left single with children, then that's her fault. And I mean, maybe I've been reading because I don't have. I don't, I'm, maybe I don't have. I don't have any kind of problem. And I can't. I, I will not say because I can't say that. That that type of thing doesn't affect people I love, cause I mean I know I have people I love that are in that situation, but um, you know you still have that obligation to to, to you know even if, from an outside observer of a, of even of this young situation, I still I still cannot help but you know I mean it's just natural to say where, where the niggas at and if they are living. And you know, able body. Then you know why? Why is is this woman talking about you? May bring even bring it up her children as if her children are being taken care of. You know, seems to me. <sighs> I'll be speculating, of course. Uh, seems to me that due to her previous mention of um, uh, she worried about what her friends say. You know, why why is she working and she's the daughter of a millionaire. Um, seems like this person. Uh, spent a 
It's been, you know, of course, I mean, I guess it's natural you go around saying, yeah, I'm Dr. Dre's daughter, you know, woo woo. But, you know, that's got to come, you know, you, that comes with a certain amount. You, you still got to have an identity for yourself. And thusly, when creating your identity, you're also um, creating responsibilities. And those responsibilities were her children. And, you know, she has this an allowance or whatever. Um, I don't know why she lost the allowance. Um, seems as if she would at least, um, you know, before she went to the Daily Mail and, and told all this. It's a family, it's a family issue to me, but yeah, Mr. Sharp said this here. And, um, of course, um, someone will respond, uh, the daughter of a billionaire should not be homeless. Now, this is a um, other, this is a, a second perspective about someone else's business who they cannot relate to or whatever. They don't know whether this, you know, I'm not saying that this girl did this, but that's, for example, a, 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 a billionaire's son, you know, is in the same type of position, homeless, living in his car, whatever, you know, and, and, and the billionaire father, billionaire mother is not helping us, helping the son, whatever. They don't know. You don't necessarily know what what the son did in order to put himself in that position. He might have went and and, and uh shed on and, and, and shit it on on that parent on the parents' jaw while the while the parent was asleep. You know, <laughs> just the ultimate disrespect, and he might and and just earn what he got. <sighs> but this is this is kind of like uh uh you know it's it's a false equivalency. You know, just because he's a billionaire and he got a lot of money, he's obligated to take care of this wrong, this wrong person, who is his, who just consequently is his daughter, who he paid allowance to, and helped pay rent up to uh, last, uh, to 2020 December. Yeah, um, and then it goes on to another person wrote a billionaire's daughter's home, this uh, blah blah blah, the child you created. A being as dark as homeless, no matter the age, how can you just watch your own child suffer? The child you created. A, a word. I mean, we love, we uh, just like ODB, uh, flavor love the kids, but a word that is uh, used to gaslight. And I, I mean, it, and I'm not going to speak in absolutes, not all black women, but some black women use this word as the ultimate gaslighting tool you know like um, don't you go nowhere with my child that's my child and this child can be anywhere from uh, 5 to 50 7 to 75 it's still you know I guess if, it, if, the, if, it's quality, if, the, if the child of that age is qualified to have a mother that's old that is a mother's age for that child and the mother does that Yeah, you know that, that 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 you might have when when you use words like certain words you may use that's gonna inherently um, give you a give you um that's gonna logically make you go, make your mind and your um, emotions go in a particular way. Children are innocent, unprotected, blah blah blah, automatically. But when you say child, in the instance the 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 a billionaire's daughter is homeless, no matter the age. No matter the age, how can you just watch your own child, your, your your child suffer? The child you created, and then this is what the image that they put there. Yeah, I mean it's like, yeah. There's no acknowledgement of what this person, but what you know, you get her, you get uh, the daughter's particular side of the story, and the father. Mr. Young, he made Mr. Andre Young, Mr. Dr. Dre, he made just being being an honorable the, the man of the father and uh, acknowledging his mistakes. He may not even be choosing to say anything about their relationship out in public. And you know, when you hear one side of the story, you make a conclusion. That's that's one of the one of the uh, pitfalls of uh, the social media era, and the uh, also the uh, the the um, uh, giving opinions behind. 
closed doors with uns unswept doorsteps. You, sweep, you need to sweep around your front door. That's what they say in the church. Sweep around, sweep around your own front door. Yeah, well, yeah. Um, Alan, here, here we go with another. A third person says, I, uh, Ugo, Ugo, Obi, Obi, Ibu, Lu. Uh, uh, Aryan Reagan dad. You know, I imagine this person is, um, 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 I guess he's African. Uh, where I, I don't know. I'm just, but no matter. I don't know about this take, Shannon. I will always take care of my children no matter what. I don't care what age they are. I would be embarrassed for my child to be homeless while I live in a mansion. I'd rather be dead than to see that happen. But but, 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 but that's just me. <laughs> and, uh, well, now, so, yeah, it, it, it sound, it sound, well, you know, you throw child in there, sound real, real good, you know, but I... A fourth argued, and this is how you get it, and I know what I'm reading, as I read this, I see how we get caught up in going back and forth about this BS online, which is why... Like I said, I'm, I'm done typing back and forth with y'all folks about this mess online. You know, I read just make me a, a video and read the shit out. And then if you want to type and talk about it, maybe we can talk about it in the comments. But, yeah. Uh, a fourth argue <laughs> that age played no role on when a parent should stop caring for their child. Uh, uh, Bernard Lindros stated, Parented, Parenting doesn't stop because someone is grown. Instead of just giving her money, maybe put her in a better situation to succeed. Most people don't have financial literacy and make poor decisions. Sometimes. We gotta stop caping for people just cause we like their music. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Consider, you know, you're talking Origins came from making music, and his wealth came from him selling uh, uh, headphones. Well, you know, I, guess I never bought me no beats. I wasn't gonna pay no hundred, man. But I guess you know, I guess they sound good, but they have, some people say this average. But from headphones, he made a lot of money off headphones. But you know, uh, you know, we gotta stay capable for guys to make the music. Now you're mad at the music because the man won't give his grown daughter no money. <laughs> Yeah, and now uh, here's another question. Like, this is person who has an American flag, but the name I can boof it oofs. Uh, it looks like beef, beef and something. Uh, <laughs> but at, at 38, she should have her a bung her bungalow, working at the post office and driving her Nissan Altima like the <laughs> like the rest of them. She doesn't need to be bailed out by anyone. Sounds like she, like he's helped her too much already. I guess, you know, I, I guess I'm amongst the opinions of the Dusties, because <laughs> I agree with that person. Uh, another person commented, she's 38. Why aren't people holding her accountable? Oh, yes, Lord. Dre made the money, not her. Oh. Can the church say hey, hey, hey. And, and uh and she probably has more opportunities than the average person. That's what I'm talking about right there. It's it's not like you know, even right now as as I'm reading about this story, this is a person, you know, she she, she dare I I dare not have seen a GoFundMe for this person. Uh because uh it will be it will be uh, consequences and repercussions to repay. She would probably never she had probably never get another dime from dude. She did she did she did an old man like that. She put up a GoFundMe, <laughs> but I, I I know that you know because she, what she did was she flashed she flashed on her father man, you know and it, it, it probably ain't even that it, 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 you know it ain't like she got to live in that car man. Come on now, um, what she did was she just. That's for an old man, you know, her old man they got to deal with he, his divorce is final now. I guess I guess um the wife had put us a, 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 a strong arm to some degree in regards to the situation, but I don't know. I, I mean this just seems to be an incom a convenient time for her to come out and then uh doing doing the COVID 
where you know people in Los Angeles are living un under the bridge and in tents and whatnot. You know, I mean, hell, hey, yeah. If it got to a point, in it, I'm, I live in I live in uh, Cook County, Illinois, and you know Chicago land, whatever. If it gets to the point, on my ass have to go outside and sleep in the act in the act of man, man, man. The hell you say? I, 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 I mean, you know, I, I ain't gonna prostitute or nothing. I might get a prostitute, you know, and, and, and you know, convince her to let me be her manager, so you know, and, and be her, and let her be my ward, you know. But uh, <laughs> I don't know, y'all, man. I don't know. I, I, I really just kind of think we need to get at the point where we just leave these people and they and, and they affairs to themselves. That's just how I feel about it, man. You know, but who am I? You know, I'm just a uh, pro uh, pro black uh, man and uh, n n Negro male, Negro Negro man in in America. So you know, yeah. Please subscribe to my page. On YouTube, the Niger Room, P H E N I G R N I G E R, not, not double G, just that's one G. Room, R O O M, on YouTube. I uh, hope you listen, I hope you enjoy it. I, 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 I'm becoming, I'm, more and more I'm becoming enjoying making these, so, you know, I hope someone is enjoying, uh, sharing, sharing the uh, enjoyment with me as well. Now, good morning to y'all. Uh, probably pretty much good night to me because I know I work second shift, even though I, I uh, was off today. Fried me a little fish or whatever. But yeah, blah, blah, blah. Uh, good morning, good night, peace.